Pleasure to have everybody here. Uh, welcome and thank you for attending the Symphonic and Rotor Videos live Q&A today. I appreciate your time. My name is Andrew Ferrone. I'm the Digital Advertising Specialist at Symphonic. And I'm joined today by Alex Branson, who is part of business development at Rotor Videos. We'd like to provide you with more information on Rotor Videos, as well as answer any questions today that you have on the platform and how you can use it in your everyday. Um, and without much delay, I'll pass things over to Alex so he can tell you more about Rotor Videos and uh, provide you with a little presentation here. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate that. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today, taking some time out of your busy schedules. Uh, I hope this is going to be of interest to you. Uh, so I'm told that many of you are artists on the call. Um, it's quite an intimate little group. Uh, so I hope this will be relevant to you. Perhaps it's helpful just to give you a little background on myself, just so you know where I'm coming from. Uh, I've worked in the music industry all of my life. Uh, these days, I help lots of different companies. Uh, one of them, of course, is Rotor Videos. Um, but one of them is a record label. So I also work directly with recording artists as well. So I often view whenever I talk about Rota uh, through the, the lens of the, the customer, because I, I'm also a customer of, of the product as well. So hopefully when, as I deliver this to you, you'll kind of feel the, uh, the relevance to, to your day to day as much as anything else, because that's the, uh, the entire point of Rota. Um, so uh, I was going to kick it off with a, I, I made a little video just to, just to sort of, uh, you know, demonstrate what what rotor is very very quickly and then we're going to do uh, you know a deeper dive into into what it is so uh, i think i'll kick it off with that so you can uh, have a little uh, break from looking at my face for a second uh, so i think hello i'm alex from rotor videos it is for artists oh, managers sorry. labels or anyone in the music industry hang on a sec let's try that again shall we All right, I think you can just see it like that, right? Hello, I'm Alex from Rota Videos. Rota is for artists, managers, labels, or anyone in the music industry who needs to create content for promotion or monetization. Rota makes it fast, easy, and inexpensive to do all of that in one place. The company started life as a way for record labels and artists to create full-length music videos, following the rise and importance of music video monetization, in particular via YouTube. As you all know, music is now visual. The list of video assets you all create on a regular basis for the various platforms continues to increase. Today, that might include Instagram posts, stories, Spotify canvas, YouTube, to name but a few. We've created a streamlined and simple workflow in our online platform designed specifically so that anyone with a device that has an internet browser and connection and some music that they own can use. We also have a Rota Studio team of experts to help fine tune or create from scratch bespoke videos as well as manage YouTube channels for you. For more established companies or those that have a volume consideration, Rota now has an API that can be used to unlock the full potential of the underlying technology. At its heart, Rota uses complex audio analysis tools which pick out characteristics of your music so that the visual that is created is in sync. Think of the music as the director of the video. We then add styles. These are the guides to the aesthetic for the video you want to make. They are dynamic, so think of the styles as the video editor. They'll make sure the transition timings are on point or the visual effect lands on the beat. If you have video clips of your artists or perhaps behind the scenes footage from a tour or simply the artwork of their single EP or album, they can all be used to create videos. If you don't have enough or perhaps any visual assets, use footage from our royalty free library. We currently have tens of thousands of clips to choose from, which increases all the time. With a few clicks of a button or automated via our API, Rota can create all the multiple video assets you need to properly promote your music. Music is visual, so go Rota your videos. All right, that's a, a little little intro. I hope that was. Uh, I hope you could hear that. I have no idea. Uh, you know, it's, these Zoom things could sometimes be a bit weird and wonky. But uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of background. Um, I first met the company in 2016. I was running the international uh, side of a company called Ingrus, which was one of, at the time one of the leading independent distribution companies. And it was and it was really interesting to me because I represented somewhere in the region of 2,000 record labels at the time, and YouTube was suddenly a a huge kind of focus for them in terms of how to make money uh and and of course they're record companies uh and they have the music they have the artwork and they might have some metadata but they don't necessarily have video assets so the focus of the business originally was as, as the video said on monetization but again as you can see we've really developed that into uh the 
I suppose trying to solve the the issues around uh, how do you engage your audience in the in you know the engagement economy that we're all in at the moment, and of course. You know, video is a great way of doing that. So what I'll do today is I'll walk you through a few different ways with which you can use the platform to create video assets, and uh, and you and you, you, it'll be pretty obvious as that you know how you can use it to uh, to further engage your uh, your your fans. So and one of the things I'll do right at the end is kind of show you roughly where we're we're headed with this because um, one thing I do know because I also I, I I run a podcast and I interview lots of different people. I, I had a, a friend of mine who's a, a record producer from the UK, uh, but he also runs his own label. And during the interview, I asked him, I said, you know, what do you do when you have to you know, get a record ready for release? And he just started listing out all the different things that he had to do, you know, all the different social platforms, you know, there's a mailing list, et cetera, et cetera, as, you know, outside of finishing the music. And so, of course, if you're trying to use all of those social platforms, you've got to create content for them. And of course, you know, video is, is, is often a, a big part of it. And there's lots of different types of video, lots of different types of video assets. They aren't just the, the sort of the full length music video that once upon a time would have been, its only destination would have been MTV, or if you were lucky to sell it on a DVD and a, you know, uh, in a Tower Records, I guess, over here at the HMV. Um, so, you know, it, th these things are here now and, and unfortunately or fortunately, we've got to, you know, use them. And so what Rotor is trying to do is be a destination where you can do all of those things, you know, as, as cheaply and as quickly as possible. And because you've got a day job, you've got, you're either an artist or you're running a record label or, you know, making videos isn't really your thing. And maybe budgets are a problem. They often are, um, you know, videos certainly, you know, up until YouTube weren't really a place where you could make, you know, money from them. Um, and, and as a consequence, they've always been seen as a bit of a sort of, uh, you know, black hole for money and investment, not only in time, but also, you know, the, the cash. So, you know, th those things are sort of changing and morphing and uh, and there's certainly more requirements, you know, being put upon artists for visual assets. You know, one, one of which, of course, recently that was opened up to a lot of artists was Spotify Canvas. And so I'll show you how uh, actually we discovered some of our, our, our customers were using our platform to make Spotify Canvas. We actually hadn't thought of that at the time. Uh, so that was that was awesome. And we're actually now, you know, building, uh, you know, those workflows very specifically into the platform to try and help people do those things as easy as possible. So I showed you a few different ways of doing that as well, which is great. So uh, I think probably what we should do is like dive into the platform and have a little look if that's OK. All right. Have you guys have got my screen? OK. Good. All right. So home page login. Now, I. As I say, I'm a customer of the platform. I actually use it for, uh, I make promo videos for uh, some of the people I interview on the podcast. So and that's what all of these are in, in my library. And so all of the videos that you make, you know, all sit in, in, in the library. One of the things that's worth pointing out at this point is you can see that on some of them, you've got lots of different versions of, uh, uh, you know, of the videos. And that's because it saves the last time that you, you rendered a video as a draft. Uh, and so you can, you know, if you want to go off and change something, you can always go back to the point you were just at. So you kind of never lose your place. Um, so it's, it's it, you know, we've tried to sort of think of like, you know, how to make this nice and easy. So I think we'll start off with kind of where the platform began, which is a full length music video. And I'll just show you very quickly kind of what that looks like. Uh, and how easy that is to do uh, on Rotor. So just give your video uh, a name. You come through to a place where you can upload your music. Uh, so I'm just going to upload uh, this record. This is a, a record by Fat Joe uh, on a record label that I work with called Empire. Uh, and once that's uploaded, we are then given our next option. As you can see along the top here, it's really a sort of a three-step process. So that's step one. So that was pretty easy. Step two is choose what's called a style. Now, when you're making uh, videos on rotor, one of the things that you've got to kind of adjust in your in your mind, you know, if you if you have ever made music videos before, then you're often thinking about, um, you know, like an iMovie sort of timeline style making of it. I guess it would be the same in Pro Tools. You have your, your garage man, you have your your sort of timeline of the beginning and the end. With Rota, really, the, we're trying to take away the need to really know how to make a music video. And so we've simplified a lot of the processes. Um, some of what Rota does is is all buried in the secret source of the technology. Uh, a big part of that is the uh, audio analysis that we're doing. And so 
if you think about the audio analysis as uh, the director of the video, what the style is, is a bit like the editor of the video. So an editor would think about the transitions between you know, one shot and the next shot. So that's what styles do. But they, what they're doing is they're being directed by the audio. So because the audio analysis will look at beats per minute, it will look at whether there's a crescendo or whether there's bass drop or, or other sort of sonic characteristic, characteristics that change you know, as the music flows through. Uh, and these styles are what we call dynamic styles. So they aren't, whatever you see here in, in the kind of, uh, you know, in, in the uh, little previews that we've got, these are just obviously, you know, a bunch of clips, which we'll come onto in a second. Uh, and, you know, the, the style is working over the top based on a, on a particular piece of music. So uh, the, uh, for, you know, uh, for your video, your bit of, your bit of audio is the director and then the style that you choose is then it's a kind of like the editor uh, of the clips as, as we'll, we'll select in a second. And I think for this one, in fact, let me just show you real quick. Uh, these are so all, the, all the different styles. Uh, we try to cat categorize them. We'll see some new and notable ones at the top. We'll come into smart tracks later on. Minimal for a short, for, for a simpler video. Um, so things like cuts, that really is, it just transitions through the clips that you select um, based on the audio. Long cuts, hopefully fairly descriptive as to what that does. Same with boomerang, same with cinematic. These are quite minimal type of effects that we're going to run across videos. And these styles are a collection of different effects. So things like mixtape, uh, you can see here, it's overlaying lots of different bits of graphics. It's done a particular type of color treatment to it. It's given it that sort of, um, you know, uh, sort of black and white view of it. Um, and so each one of them has, a, you know, a certain set of characteristics and as I say, they are dynamic, they react to the, the audio, uh, and that's why you always get a really unique looking video at the end of it. Um, but it's taking all the way, taking away all of the kind of need to actually be honestly that creative other than making this type of selection. Um, I'd say that when you get to this point, you probably need to know what sort of video you had in your head, right? You don't need to know how to make it. You just need to know, I, I, I've seen something else that I quite like. I wonder if I can make something like that with Rota. Um, and you'll come in here and you'll find probably a, um, uh, you know, a, a style that will get you somewhere close. You know, some of them are really simple, um, like the VHS Vision one. I really like the Sonic Glitch one because that little glitch effect, that that runs with the, the beat of the, the music. So it's really, really impactful um, when you've got that kind of that audio and that visual working together like that. I think it works really well. Uh, but there's so many different types of, uh, you know, videos in here. You can see we utilize uh, visualizer effects again they're all dynamic they all work alongside the audio and it all happens automatically you don't have to do any programming you don't have to know how to make any of this stuff it's all it's all very very easy so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a, a visualizer video for us um when you when you get to this stage you get a little description uh so it's going to tell you a little bit about what's going on um and you can see also on the right hand side there you can actually make a decision at this point as to what sort of uh, aspect ratio you want for the video We'll come onto those in a second, uh, so we'll come back to that. So don't, don't worry, I'm not glossing over it. But for now, we're just going to make a, a, a sort of fairly traditional 16 by 9 uh, full length music video. So I'm just going to choose this style uh, and go here. At this point, um, we now are in uh, our, our library of clips, and these are all royalty free. Uh, so you can use these as much as you like or as little as you like. Um, one of the things that I think is really important to point out at this, this stage is that whilst we have this, uh, this video library, you can also upload your own stuff, right? And that could be uh, static images, um, or it could actually be video clips that, that, that you've taken yourself. So you can see here, these are all, this is my personal library. So these are the interviews that I do with people. Look, it's people sitting behind a microphone. It's never gonna be that interesting. So sometimes what I do is I will interpolate my videos with some of the stock library uh, footage to one, help tell the story, and two, make it slightly more, you know, visually stimulating, if you like. Um, and so, but you can absolutely upload your own stuff here. You just click upload and it's, you know, it's gonna give you an upload I file like that, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going back to collections. Uh, for this one, I'm just gonna come in here and then I'm gonna pick a couple of uh, clips. And you can see what happened at this point is that this little, uh, this little clip stray uh, just popped up. Now, what the clips tray is probably the closest thing that we have to an actual timeline in Rota. Uh, as you can see, it is just clip selection. These are these are actual you know video clips that move. They are not static images. 
um, and there is some sort of order to it, one, two, and so on. We have a couple of different um, uh, little, little sort of tricks within the platform that make this really, really easy. Uh, so we have this thing called Smart Select Clips. Uh, and what this will do is from all the different collections that, that we select clips from, it will just try and fill up what we call uh, the clips wheel over here, which is really just a minimum amount of video clips based on the length of the audio. Uh, so I think this, this track is uh, somewhere around two and a half minutes um, and the style that you selected in, in the previous step. And it will just fill out this little timeline like this. And it will just put in a bunch of clips from that from that collection, uh, you know, for the for the number that it thinks that will give the video some form of, you know, it will make it interesting. Um, so that's a sort of minimum of mi minimal amount that you need for it. Um, now, what you can do is you can obviously mix things together. Um, so, for example, we could just, you know, pick a couple of dancers like this, and they're going to appear at the end of our timeline. Um, obviously, they just appear in the time uh, in the in the order that you select them in but from here you can drag and drop you can move these these uh these folks around it's nice and easy and of course if you don't like them then you can take them out as well so we'll just take that out and we'll just go with the floor design for now uh and then we go off and preview and that that honestly guys is it like that's how you make a video in rotor it is select your music select your style which is your kind of aesthetic and then select your clips um and that could just be one clip right that could just be a piece of artwork that, or that could be uh, you know, as, as much of your own video clips as you like. It could be a mixture. It doesn't really matter, but but that's what's happening there. Now, <clears throat> this is um, this is rendering not on my local device, uh, so don't worry. It's not going to turn your your computers into personal heating devices. Um, if you've ever rendered any video before, you will know how difficult that is to do. Um, it's all being sent off to the cloud, um, so we're using a sort of a mixture of AWS and Google servers. Um, and so that means actually you can do this on a tablet, you can do it on a mobile phone, you can obviously do it on your, your desktop. I would personally suggest desktop with Chrome as, as a browser, That's, that typically works best, uh, but, it, it, but it is mobile responsive and we have you know uh, all of that built out as well. So instead of sitting here watching this screen, one of the things that you can do if you've got say a bunch of these to do is you can just go off and you can make another video. So what we're gonna do now uh, is gonna, we're gonna make a Spotify canvas. Um, and what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna make a canvas boomerang. Uh, so it's gonna use that, that very well-known boomerang effect. So you can see here, we're just doing the same thing as we did before. We gave it a name, come in, we select our audio. Just gonna use the same bit of audio again. And that'll upload. And then we're gonna do one extra thing at this stage. Uh, so, you know, we're a, we're, we're, a, we're a music tech company. We're gonna to listen to what's going on in the industry and we're gonna just keep iterating on what we're building. This isn't a finished product by any means, shape or form. We are continuing to build and, and develop. So one of the things that we added recently was the uh, sort of the, the, the ability to very quickly create the right type of video. So starting with the music, cause that's the most important thing. Uh, and, uh, and so that the output is something that you can then use immediately for those different types of platforms. And you can see here that we've got um, things like Spotify Canvas, Instagram Story, Instagram Post. I mean, ultimately, you know, Instagram Post is what, a minute long. Spotify Canvas is 7.9. You know, you've got a 30 seconds one there, uh, th you know, full track. Um, and I'll show you later on, obviously, you can, you can make those uh, very specific. Um, it's a really, really simple audio selection tool. Um, you've all seen stuff like this before, I'm sure. Um, but, uh, you know, I know, for example, that um, uh, I'm going to want... Uh, to begin around here. All right, so uh, I'm going to make a 7.9 second long video uh, for Spotify Canvas. Um, so now I'm going to go off and choose a style. Now what I'm going to do, sorry, my phone is beeping, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a very uh, particular type of um, uh, type of video, uh, which is this boomerang video here. So we're going to select that, but because it's Spotify Canvas, we need to make sure that it's in this vertical aspect ratio. So I'm gonna choose that style. And off we go. And we're back into our uh, video library here. Um, and I think, uh, hang on a sec, just lost my place real quick. Okay, and then we're gonna use, uh, the uh, um, I think we'll use uh, where's that girl gone? Use this girl here. 
All right. And then we're going to move on. And we're off to make our video again. So I won't sit here and watch that. That'll, that'll actually be quite quick. One, because it's a very short piece of audio, um, but it's also um, only got one uh, video clip. So that will move much quicker than the other one. So I mean, hopefully that makes sense, right? It's, it's, it's rendering uh, video. So we're going to make another type, um, which is a, uh, we're do another canvas. Um, and we're going to do a loop. So this one's a little bit of a hack um, on, the, on the platform. So I'm just going to just keep doing what I do. You've seen all these steps before, so I don't need to talk about them particularly. Um, so again, this is I think I think this was something one of our uh, one of our creative guys in our studio team found is that uh, Spotify Canvas, as you guys will know, um, is essentially a very short piece of audio visual. It doesn't actually have any sound to it, um, so it's kind of a weird thing to make in, in Roto, given that uh, you know it's all based on the music itself. Um, so we're going to uh, trim the audio again, but what we're going to do is do something slightly different. Um, so I'm going to zoom in again. I'm going to take this down to seven seconds. Um, so I know that might seem a bit weird to do, but um, it'll make sense when I show you. Um, okay, that'll do. And then we're going to begin uh, one second in as well. Right. All right, cool. Confirm. Okay. All right. So then we're going to do the same thing again, choose a style. Um, and there's a very particular type of style that I'm going to choose for this. Um, which is in the minimal folder again. And it's called fade repeat. And the reason for selecting this one is that uh, because it because it this will essentially loop the video. So it fades back out. Um, and goes, uh, you know, back through to, uh, uh, which can use this clip here, um, just because I think it works quite well. <clears throat> um, and so we're back to our, our rendering process, but this, this one will loop back around and I'll show you uh, how that works in a second. But what we'll do very quickly is I'll show you another uh, tool that we have in the platform. So we, this, is the, this is the video that we made first of all, this is the, the boomerang uh, video, so. As you can see, our dancer is, is not in the right spot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to reposition uh, the focus of the video. So we're going to give it about like that and then click done. And now when we play this video, um, she's in the right spot. You see it's got that kind of cool boomerang effect on it. Um, so, and then from here, all you do is hit download. That's it. Like you, you've made a, a Spotify canvas boomerang you know, video, like just, just hit download, nice and easy. Uh, so I think at this stage, what I'll do is just um, head back to the, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, we can make one more, just, just why not, right? I'll just post. Uh, so uh, typically when I post uh, on my Instagram, I'm making square uh, either images or, uh, or videos. Um, so we'll just do a square one, why not, right? Let's give that a second to upload. Love a live demo. <laughs> All right, Instagram post. There we go. All right, so you know we can do the same thing. You know, zoom in to find the exact spot that you want the you know the video to work from. So I know that the audio kicks in around there. So confirm, and you can see that this is made a. a it's going to default to a, a minute long. All right. Um, and then we can, I'm going to use the glitch max effects. So I'm going to make it a square, uh, choose that and off we go. Right. And then because this is, um, one of the, the artwork only ones, so I, sorry, I did that a bit quick. I apologize. So the, the thing about this flow here is it didn't take me through to the, uh, the artwork library. It just took me straight into the, uh, the, uh, the ability to just upload my artwork because they're very steep. These, Every single uh, style in that little list is des designed for making static artwork videos. And this is the sort of thing that you'll see with Rotor over time. Um, we, you know, we keep adding these types of like, you know, ways of making different types of videos and making them as easy as possible. So uh, every, single, every single style in, the, uh, in the, what we call smart tracks, because they are smart art tracks, if you like, because they are reactive to the audio. Um, but this, I think for artists, for record companies, it's certainly one of our most popular products that we have right now because 
these are the assets you actually have. You have that, as I said earlier, you have the audio, you have the artwork, but you don't necessarily have actual video clips. Um, so these ones have proved like really, really popular. Um, and uh, so that's why we'll, we'll go for make one of those. We'll come back to that one in a second, just so you can see what a smart track looks like as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll head back to the full length, um, just because I want to show you some of the other features that we have. So we have the ability to uh, create um, graphics, uh, uh, like text overlays. Uh, so uh, one of the things might be, um, so, so you, <laughs> I don't, I don't know the age demographic on this call, but um, this is the, the lyrics to the Fresh Prince Bel-Air, which isn't what this music is. Uh, so we're going to need to change those. Um, but this is how you can make lyrics videos out of this stuff. So um, it's, it's at the moment a little, uh, little time consuming. Uh, we are going to improve this. We have a tool that we've been developing on uh, in, our, in our development area. We do use this ourselves. We, we, we use it day in, day out. We do a lot of work for a lot of big record companies. Um, and it actually takes in a, a, essentially a text file. Uh, and it will uh, auto align uh, the lyrics to the uh, to the audio, which is pretty cool. Um, and we're going to add that feature to to Rota, uh, hopefully at some point this year. Um, we're just working on the we've got to build a UI around that, so we're just trying to figure that out right now. Um, so what we want to do is uh, so I'm just going to find my spot. Um, okay. So I'm going to edit this text real quick. So, All right, so obviously I know this, uh, this this bit of audio well enough to know this. Um, so I'm just going to add this little lyric right here. Um, but I don't like that font, so I'm going to change the fonts and come down here. I can make it bigger like that and that looks pretty cool uh, now i've got to get my timing right um so i think it's um something like this and then we can just play it back and have a little listen cool and dry. nice that worked out okay um now what we're going to do is i'm going to add another little uh just show you another really effective thing i use this quite a lot myself um it's uh, about there um Now I'm going to do something slightly different with this. Um, so let me go with, let's go with that. Make it nice and big as well. Okay. As you can see, it's like, you know, it's kind of, it's pretty easy, right? I mean, I'm going to do that. I like that. I think that looks cool. Uh, so now we've got uh, a video that's starting to take shape. It's 2021. So, you know, this is, um, th this is, these are some of the additional tools that we're adding in here. Now, obviously you could just make a video in Rotor, download it, and then mess around with it with a, a regular video editor. Not everybody has access to that. Not everybody has the knowledge of how to use something like that. So we, we've added tools like this into the platform to, to try and make it, to try and make it, uh, you know, as user-friendly as possible. Um, so, uh, so that is how you make, uh, lyrics videos with the platform. Um, and you can obviously just add text. Like you could just add the name of the artist and track at the beginning or the name of the record company at the end. It doesn't have to be lyrics. It can just be, you know, whatever you like. Um, but I think, you know, I think we, uh, you know, we've got a pretty, pretty cool product at this point. Cool and dry. It's 2021. Right. That took, that took seconds to do as, as you can see. All right, so I think we're going to go back. I think what I'm going to do is show you the uh, the canvas loop just to just to sort of uh, explain again what was happening there. So if you remember with this one, this was a like a, a fade uh, so that it could loop a background. So the video looks like this. Cool and dry. It's 2021. Time to bring the light in. We're going to bring the light in. So I don't know if you saw that at the end, but it, it, it faded. Um, so this is... This is the end of that kind of shot. And then you can start to see here that we've, we've got this little fade and then it's basically gonna loop back to the beginning. So um, yeah, so that, that's how to make a, a little loop video. Uh, it was just a little 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 cheat. Um, there's there's a, an explanation of how to do that one on our website as well. So it, uh, if you can't remember, I think this is being recorded anyway, so you could watch this back. But, but in essence, just make it seven seconds long, start one second in, 
use uh, the, uh, the the fade repeat uh, style, and you'll make these little loops. And there's there's a couple of things in the platform like that which are really cool. Uh, you know, the the guys at Symphonic will help you know connect you uh, through the through the us over at Rotus. So we can help you uh, with any questions that you have. There's a support thing on the on the website as well. You just hit the guys up there. They're really really helpful. Um, but so there's that. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll just have a little look at the IG post just so you can just so you can see what a smart track looks like. Um, so. The So you can see that that was designed very specifically for a piece of artwork. It's just using a kind of uh, like a glitch effect, glitch max, this one's called, I think. Um, but again, even from here, you know, you could come in and you could, you know, you could change that, but that's not look so good. But like, you, you know, you can just make it into a 16 by nine, just like that, and then just output another file. So, you know, the, the, the platform's been designed to try and make this as easy as possible, quite frankly. Um, so that's, pretty much all I wanted to show you on the platform today. Um, there's obviously a bit more to it. Um, you know, you can you can just go and make another version of this, create a new version, and it'll just pop you straight back. You don't have to re-upload the audio. You can just come straight back to the uh, uh, to the style selection. So for example, like 3D Room, and, and I don't know if I had mentioned this before, but like in each um, in each style, they'll give you a little description about them and, and they'll tell you what they're gonna do. So for example, with 3D Room, you can see here that the uh, the wall and floor lights pump to the bass and ceiling lights pulsate to the vocals, right? So that's that's what you're going to see. So if you know your music, this might be a really good you know style for you. And they're all a bit different. They're all going to do something slightly different. Um, and you can see it's got some spectrum visualizers, and it, they just kind of really help kind of you know frame the frame the piece of artwork, and it really sort of puts your artwork front and center. There's going to be more of this type of stuff. I've seen some of the styles that they're creating right now. And they, they look super dope, like they're cool as hell. So uh, keep an eye on, on, on this style set selection and, uh, uh, and you'll, uh, you'll, you'll see a whole load of creativity come into the platform. The other thing about the library, um, this isn't necessarily common knowledge right now, but we're gonna really, really expand that through a partnership that we have. Um, so there's gonna be a, a ton more clips coming in. It's one, it's, one, it's one of the biggest sort of requests that we get from our customers, like, can we get some more video clips? And, it's, and it really sort of demonstrates, I think, the power of Rota, because that's the one thing that a lot of artists and record companies don't have. Uh, and so and this is all professionally shot stuff. It's all 4K. Um, we're either buying it in or we're commissioning it. We actually have a lot of uh, animators and video videographers on staff. So we, we create a lot of this stuff in-house in as well. Um, but as I say, we're going to do a partnership with another company. And we're going to expand our video library uh, in a really, really big way. Um, so I think uh, from here, what I just wanted to really quickly do uh, was just show you what all this costs, um, because um, what we've tried to do is make this as cheap as possible. So now there is a special discount with, with Symphonic. If you're a Symphonic user, then uh, the guys have a, a link for you. Uh, I'm sure they'll follow up with that afterwards and that'll essentially give you a 10% off. But um, we've added subscriptions recently, um, which I think quite frankly, make this really, really cheap. So you can just pay by month. So you could just pay $20, $19, uh, and you'd get five, uh, what we call long form videos. Um, and they are essentially, you know, up to 20 minutes long. Um, but we added uh, short form videos. Uh, so videos under 30 seconds or 30 seconds or, or, or less. Um, and you can, so you can create an unlimited amount of those. So if you think about that in terms of your putting a, a, you know, a tracking up, um, but it might be a track off an album. Uh, you could come in here with your D, you know, DIY subscription, make five videos, you know, five tracks off your EP, but you could make unlimited amount of uh, social assets. And of course, you need a lot, right? Because you've got to do your, all your sort of like pre-release campaign, your album drop, and then your post-release campaign. So you, and you've got to create assets that are square, that are vertical. You've got to create your Spotify canvas. You've got a bunch of stuff you've got to make. So that's why we, we, we set that as, uh, as unlimited. Um, and of course it keeps going, you know, if you go all the way up to Indy, um, you're getting like 50, 50 a month. Um, and uh, quite frankly, if you're at that stage and you're, you're going to commit, uh, you know, a hundred dollars a month to this, I would strongly recommend that you come through to the pay annually and just get your nice 30% discount on that. Um, that'll give you 600, uh, you know, dollars a year for like, sorry, 600 videos uh, per year for like less than a thousand dollars. I mean, that's like, that's kind of insane, but what I hope this does is just to sort of help you understand that Rota was designed with kind of everybody in mind. So whether this is the first time you're putting something out, 
or whether you're a record company that's got proper finance and you're, you know, you're going to invest like into it, you could still use this tool. So for example, a lot, a lot of our customers, they will, they will still spend the, you know, five, 10, 20 grand on a music video with a film crew and hiring venues and like stylists and all that good stuff. Um, but then they'll come in here and because they got to, they got to put a, a, you know, a video up on YouTube, for every track off that album, they aren't spending 20 grand on every single video. They're just not doing it. Um, it's too much money. Um, it's too much cash out, out, out in front, right? Because we're in a streaming age. So cash flow is a real problem. We all know this, right? It's, uh, it's hard to get that money back in any short space of time. You've got a finite amount of uh, fans to a you know, certain degree of level. And, and there's only so many times they can stream your music so you can actually, you know, make that, that money back. So hopefully, you know, the pricing here uh, is, is, you know, that makes sense to you guys, right? Okay, I think, uh, stop sharing my screen. It's nice to see more people join. Hello, everybody. Uh, so, um, so Andrew, I don't know what you want to do at this point. Um, I've talked a lot at people for a while. It feels like I might be like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, we've we've got a few questions that have come through yeah. chat and other that have submitted beforehand that we can definitely dive into as well if we want, um, if that sounds good to you. Um, I know other people may have some questions that have come through to mind. So feel free to drop those in chat and we'll answer them as they come through. Um, that being said, uh, Steve in chat had a question about um, video content at, that's used on YouTube um, to make audio visual claim and monetize via content ID. Mm -hmm. uh, say for example, on the official video is that, is that that's totally you know, good to go. Is, is yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously you guys own the, or presumably you own the audio, right? Uh, that, that's the subject of your video that you're making. So, you know, tick that box. Um, and then in terms of like the video, so um, look, we can't control what video asset you're uploading into the platform. Presumably you own them. Um, but if you don't, then you need to go and get those cleared. Um, but all of our, all of our, all of our videos are, um, what we call royalty free. So technically what we've done within YouTube is we've, we've put a claim on it, but we set it to auto release. So when you upload your video, we, because we have to make the claim on it, otherwise what will happen is that when your videos get streamed, uh, by the, like by the people, uh, or somebody uploads another video that's got, you know, the same bit of um visuals in it you'll there'll be a there'll be a match there'll be a you know if anyone's seen the cms on the back end they have a sort of an audio analysis and they have a visual analysis and they break it apart like in, in each different section and so you'll you'll get a you'll get a match on on any of our video clips but because we set that to auto release you won't have a problem like your video will still play there won't be a claim on it and you'll be able to monetize it and so yeah perfect that's awesome yeah um another question that we have is um how can we use these videos for advertising? So can, obviously Rotor can help make all the multiple different sizes, but um, is there set um, features within the platform for ad placements particularly? Well, I mean, the, you know, I, the, the work that I do with one of the, the, one of my clients is, you know, we, we spend a lot of money on, and, and Andrew, I know you, you do this for, for a living, like we'll, you know, we'll spend a lot of money doing promoted posts on YouTube. Like it's one of the platforms we spend a lot of money on. Um, but really they are just the, you know, the, 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 the promoted post of the, of the video itself. Right. So, um, I, you know, but we're, we're also doing, um, you know, uh, pre-roll ads and things like that. Um, yeah, you, you know, you own the asset, you get an MP4 file, uh, you know, 1080p HD video that you can download. You can use it however you like. Um, I showed, I showed you the text overlay so you can put like call to actions on there. And obviously within YouTube, you, you then got all the different tools um, to, to make links off, uh, you know, with, within the, the CMS. So, I mean, you know, the, the platform makes music videos for you guys. That's it. That's what it does, right? So use use them however you like. But as I say, there's there's some tools in there like the, the text overlays that hopefully, you know, give you some more control about what the output actually is. Perfect. All right. Another question is, why is Rotor a better option than me creating them myself? Obviously, we, we noticed <laughs> that the time saving is huge. Yeah. Yeah. You just created three to four videos in, uh, I'd say, 15 to 20 minutes with us here. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's one of the main ones I noticed. 
Exactly. Look, I, I run into this all the time, right? So like, part of my job is to go and talk to some of the biggest music companies on the planet. And, and what happens is I, I start with like the business development people and they go, I'm going to give you to my YouTube person, right? YouTube person. Uh, and they, and I'll end up talking to somebody whose literal job is to make videos all day long. And that there's me going, yeah, like it's really easy. You just use Rota. And, and of course they, they start to get a bit worried about their own job. And what I say to them, and I'll, I'll say to you guys, cause it's absolutely true. It's just an, an additional tool in your toolkit. It isn't a replacement for anything that you're currently doing, but it might be an addition to that. Um, the smart tracks in particular, I think are a good example of how we can take away some of that pain. I think it's something like 13 clicks of a mouse button and you've got yourself uh, you know, a dynamic st still image artwork track that's gonna be better than what you um, can necessarily do in, in the same space of time elsewhere. Um, I know there's some really cool like iOS apps and things like that, but this, we don't really have much competition in this space right now. You know, we're, the company's pretty unique. Um, so I, I'm sure that won't always be the case. Um, and there are definitely some others that I've seen, you know, starting to sort of half focus on music now, but we are designed very specifically for music. Our algorithms are wired, you know, to analyze that audio, uh, you know, music audio, uh, to make these uh, engaging videos. So. Um, but yeah, the, you know, the workflows are pretty seamless. You don't need any specialist skills. So I, maybe the person who asked the question knows how to use, you know, iMovie or whatever their, their video editor is. That's cool. Like carry on doing that. Make some awesome videos, like as whatever works, like make some money from your music, right? That's, that's what you're doing, right? Promote yourself. But if you struggle to do those things or you need to outsource them all the time, you can just use Rotor. And like it's, as I said, it's pretty cheap. I think, you know, I don't think... If you're not willing to invest twenty dollars in making five music videos on one of our subscriptions, like, like I can't. There's like, so much I can do to help. I've okay. heard from many of our clients that have paid upwards of a few thousand dollars just for one video, um, yeah. and that's that's to produce it and finalize it and final cut and all that. And that doesn't even give them all the social media styles. Um, that just gives them the one horizontal final 4K video, and that's it. Yeah. Um, and then they come to us wanting to create campaigns or provide it to somebody else to use in a blog or create a clip. And that's a whole different process, which it seems like this would completely alleviate for a lot of those people. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I mean, you know, to get a, a lyrics video, I mean, I've, I've seen people quoting, you know, for like students doing it part time for like $250 at the cheapest, right? But even for a lot of people, $250 for a video is still a ton of money. Now, we can't, at the moment, like the lyrics thing, we're going to we're gonna update, we're going to make that better. But you can still make a lyrics video on the platform for essentially $9, right? You know, in an a la carte sort of scenario. If, you, if money's the problem rather than your time, then this is a great way of the, uh, you know, solving that. But I, I think personally, for people who've got a lot of output, we make this really slick and we make this really easy because you don't, you must don't need to have any of the creativity or the specialist skills. You just need to have the music and pretty much that's it in a computer or a, or a phone to, to make it with. So we try to make it really accessible to, to all. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think um, quite frankly, it's fun as well. <laughs> it's, it's quite fun because you, you know, you don't have to invest too much time. Really entertaining there. I it's mean, as far as being something that's user friendly, it definitely passed the check for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have another question from, I believe it's Alicia in chat. Um, do pre-created styles like glitch or other video graphic effects work on our custom uploaded videos or only the ones in there? Right, so yeah, it's a good question. So the, uh, the, the styles are dynamic, so they react to the audio. So if you upload a video clip, it's going to strip out the audio. It's going to ignore the fact that you've got audio on your video clip that you've uploaded. So it's going to listen to the audio that you uploaded. So, and it will react to that. So I, I don't know if that makes sense, but, but that is a, it's a weird dynamic within the platform. It's sometimes a little hard to get your head around. Um, but if you remember what I, I don't know, I saw some people join partway through, so they may have missed what I was explaining at the very beginning. Um, again, this is being recorded, go back, have a little listen, but, but in short, the different steps are upload audio, select style, and then pick your clips. And what it's going to do is the, the music is the, the video director um, and the styles are the video editor. So the two kind of work in tandem like that, if, if that makes sense. That's perfect. Actually, I think that answered the question. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely allows you to do anything at that point. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and I believe that's all of our questions at this point. Um, I don't know if anybody else had any other questions that they wanted to ask because uh, we're running out of time here. Um, but if there's any other questions, uh, feel free. Oh, looks like we got another one from Steve. Um, could you upload a lip sync performance uh, like your own video file and have it sync to the uploaded audio? Ah, uh, you picked out the one thing, right? So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but, so we, we, like, we call those performance pieces, right? So um, they kind of direct to, to camera. Um, that is one of the things that Rotor doesn't do very well. And there's a, there's a very good reason for it. It's because it's, it's making a particular type of video. It is going to uh, take the different clips that you upload and fit them to the music, right? It isn't going to create based on that timeline. Um, again, I, 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 forgive me, I know some people joined partway through, uh, but there was, a, there was a part where I explained that within Rotor, we don't really have a timeline that sits within the platform. And the reason for that is because we're kind of taking away a lot of that decision-making process that you have to go through if you're going to use a Final Cut Pro or iMovie or something like that, where you've got to kind of, you know, get things exactly right and exactly at the, at the right point when you want that transition to happen from one shot to the next. Um, so no, that we, that is that is one of the things that the platform doesn't do. But but it's because of the way that the platform works. It's listening to the the audio and it's uh, and it's going to add the effects and you know it's like like we have like color saturations built in. We have the graphics overlays. We have obviously then the transitions between all of those things are dynamic in the style based on the audio. And so that's why things like performance pieces don't work. However, the guys are very very aware of it. It's one of the again a very common question that we get. Um, and we are looking at ways of maybe trying to figure out how to do that to actually sort of like uh, very easily like be able to put a bit of um, performance piece within the video itself at a particular point. If you think about it, it is it wouldn't be that hard. You just go through, render the video, and then you could overlay another clip on top. So that's probably what we're going to do there. So uh, so again, the platform's constantly evolving. You know, we're trying to make this easy. One of the things I will say is what we've always tried to do is not. It's not give people, and it sounds a bit weird, but not give people too many options because as soon as you do that and you make it too complicated, the end product often ends up being a bit substandard. And for us, that's no good it's because within within the way that we do all of this, other than the uh, sort of monthly or, or annual subscriptions, you can go in and use the platform for free, right? You can just go in and make as many videos as you like. You only pay for them when you actually download them, right? That is kind of how that bit of it works. And so... If we had a, a really complicated video editor, I don't think I don't think people would get to the end where they they're happy with something. So we we try to sort of like, you know, always you know produce a really good video for them at the end. That, that's the reason. Perfect. Yeah, and I'm sure that's something that they're anxiously trying to get worked in, anyways. Um, given how popular it seems to be a request. Yeah, and, and, and actually, when you think about it, because of the way that if you, you know, if you think about how we put even like the, the text overlays on top, you could do that with a, an actual video segment and you could just stick that over the top and, and you know, true it up and, and make it fit. Um, but, you know, yeah, just so, like you, could, you, you know, know, like, like with any bit, of, any bit of like sort of like tech, like roadmap, there's, there's always things in a list and it's on there. It's on there. We'll get to it. <laughs> Well, I appreciate your time today, Alex. Of course, and, no problem. Uh, it's been good to uh, sort of kind of meet you all, really. Kind of. <laughs> I appreciate everybody's time today, uh, stopping by to uh, yeah. take part in our Q&A and presentation. I think we can uh, end our video now. And um, everybody have a wonderful day and rest of your week. Um, do great things. Yeah. Lovely to meet you all. Thank you for joining. Take Thank care. You,